Komodo dragons are an endangered species, and they are the largest land reptile that we have on planet Earth. Well, we've got a large male, about 26 year old. His name is Murphy, and Murphy is great. He's really energetic, he's engaging with the public, and he's one of our iconic species that we have at the Reptile Discovery Center. About three years ago, we noticed that Murphy wasn't going outside into his outside yard on nice warm days like he loves to do. As we started paying closer attention to that, we noticed that he also wasn't climbing in and out of his pool normally. So that's when we contacted uh, our vet staff um, because we noticed that basically Murphy was not using his back legs normally. We noted that he had some changes in the muscle mass around his left hind leg, and we noticed considerable arthritis in both of his knees and one of his elbows. We found a treatment that is being used in dogs called Synovitin that treats arthritis in dogs very well, and we wanted to try it in Murphy. He had injections in both of his knees and his elbow. The special thing about Synovitin is that it is a radioisotope of tin. Over time, we then Geiger countered Murphy to make sure that the amount of radiation that he had allowed us to increase the time that keepers can spend with Murphy. Our interactions are completely safe. We'll start to wean him down off of some meds and see how he responds in hopes that just the injection will provide him the pain relief that we know he needs and allow him to live a happy and healthy life. We're really hopeful that this new trial that we're going through will actually help Murphy regain that excitement for moving around his exhibit, acting more like a normal adult Komodo dragon. The other thing that's really exciting about this is we're trying to build a healthy population of Komodo dragons. I think this trial will help as we learn more about how to treat aging reptiles.